where you are in any moment in time in relationship to your desires that are active the desires that are active and the beliefs that are active in other words where are you what's the mix of vibration within you are you managing it deliberately is it just happening by default are you having knee-jerk responses to life are you considering things before you offer a vibration are you practiced at being centered and stable so that when new things come you are intentional in your response to them are you appreciating the contrast that gives birth to the new desire and are you able to or are you wanting to be able to manage your vibration in relationship to the ever changing spewing of desire that comes from you you knew it would be that way when you decided to come into this body you knew that this environment would produce within you a constant stream of new intentions and you also knew that when those desires would be born within you created from your life experience you knew that all energy streams and source forces would assemble for the creation of your new intention your new desire your new personal expansion before you made the decision to actually be in this body you made a lot of other decisions you knew that by being here on planet earth at this time in this place in this space in this reality you knew that your environment would produce new from you and you knew that as the new desire radiates from you that you would be among the leading edge creators you knew that this physical environment where things turn from vibrations to thoughts and thoughts to things you knew that this is a manifesting experience you knew that you didn't come just to dream or only to meditate or only to be you knew that you would be here to observe and to compare and to consider and to choose and you knew that it was right that you would choose and you knew that your choices oh would be supported by the energy that creates worlds in fact you understood before you made your decision to come before you actually got here you knew that your choices would be not just honored but revered you knew that you were leading edge creators and that the source energy the inner being part of you who's focused to you and through you would remain non-physically focused so here you came into your body splat with your inner being and your source energy and all of your resources remaining non-physically focused non-physically focused and yet aware of you in every moment of your life experience aware of what you're living aware of what you're asking for and most important to you aware of where you stand in any moment in time in relationship to what you've asked for so we like to explain it to you like this that your life causes you as you consider it to know what you don't want and therefore know what you do want and you radiate these rockets of desires and these rockets of desires these vibrational rockets of desire these vibrational thoughts these vibrations thoughts energy emanating from you not manifested yet not things not places not relationships not things that are tangible not something that you can see yet or smell or hear or taste or touch but these vibrational intentions and rockets of desire and as they radiate from you they collect in what we want so much for you to accept as a reality that we've called this vibrational reality we demonstrate it in this way this vibrational reality this vortex of reality as these rockets of desire 
radiate from you they are gathered together by the powerful law of attraction and they are watched and understood by your inner being by the source energy from which you have come so what happens to you as life causes you to launch those rockets is that you have the opportunity to be a vibrational match with the rocket that you've launched or not or some version in between in other words life can cause you to ask for more but you may not move in the direction of what you're asking for in fact most times most humans do not when you know you don't have enough money and you ask for more money more money begins to be assembled for you precisely for you immediately but more often than not you're stuck in the I don't have enough money and therefore I want more money but I don't have enough money but I do want more money but I don't have enough money that's why I'm asking for more money I don't have enough but I would like more but you in most cases are not a sketchy or a consistent vibrational match to the abundance that you're asking for now your inner being is because when you ask it is given vibrationally immediately so your inner being becomes an immediate match for what your life has caused you to expand to but when your inner being expands in the direction of your desire and you don't then there's a vibrational variance within you and you that you can feel in the form of emotion and that emotion doesn't feel good it feels like worry or it feels like disappointment or it feels like not enoughness it feels like discouragement but when you launch a rocket of desire and you're able to focus in the direction of your desire when you are thinking about what you want and why you want it so that you approach the vibrational integrity of your new desire in a consistent and meaningful way when there's not a big expanse between the vibration of your desire and the vibration of your belief and a belief is just a thought you continue to think when that expanse doesn't exist so much but you are more believing more hoping and then believing and knowing that while it may not have come to full fruition that there is a vibrational version of it that you can believe in and that really is the point of everything that we will be talking about in the days that we are together because if you can begin to believe in this vibrational version then it's like the farmer who believes in the kernel of corn that he puts in the ground he believes that that is a seed that will grow into a stalk and into ears of corn he doesn't doubt it because he has knowledge of the way that it works well we want you to leave this gathering in these days with the same certainty that the farmer has when he puts the corn in the ground that while he cannot see it he knows what's coming next we want you to trust the process we want you to come to understand the laws of the universe we want you to trust your own guidance system we want you to know what emotion means we want you to know that when you have negative emotion that you are compromising your own desire for the time being at least because you are activated in a vibration that opposes your own desire you just can't hold a desire and doubt it and move in the direction of your desire because the vibration of your desire and the vibration of doubt are very different frequencies it's like sticking a stick in a wheel it sort of brings it to a screeching halt and slows the progress of it for as long as you keep doing that and so we know that you've been listening to us for a while and we know that you for the most part understand the basics of what we offer you know you are a vibrational being and you know that you came from a vibrational source and you understand that you are an extension of source and that you've come with great purpose but you may not remember that you are here for the purpose of joy and that expansion is natural to you and that life is supposed to feel good to you and that there is an ease that you can step into that most humans have not yet because as humans you believe more in struggle and more in effort and more in working and accomplishment and determination and while we are not discouraging focus or determination or intentionality in fact we are all about that but we want you to leave this gathering with a new determination to allow the laws of the universe to work for you and for you to find a way to work within them 
because you cannot buck the laws of the universe and what so often you do you don't mean to but you buck your own current you desire something and then you talk against it you say I want this but then you explain how it is and it's your explanation of what is that holds you back more than anything else because what is is really old news in terms of manifestation it's like gum that you've chewed all the flavor out of what is isn't where the action is it isn't where the primary attention of source is it isn't where the new enthusiasm is it isn't where the energy that creates worlds is it's where what you've been doing has already been done and now you're on to other things but you know mostly you don't want to look on to the other things where the energy is flowing and where the action is and where the juice is juiciest because for this one reason and we're going to do our best to talk you out of this in the days that we are together because in your humanness and you are beautiful you adore your ability to see and hear and smell and taste and touch you like the tangible and we like it too we like it for you too we would like you to like the tangible we like you to like the manifested in that full sense that's what it's all about in fact what's in your vortex is a bit like the kernel of seed in the ground we don't want it to remain like that we want it to come into full fruition for you so that you can enjoy it on all levels of your being but if you need to see it before you believe it if you need to see it before you will allow yourself to feel enthusiasm about it if you need to see it and smell it and hear it and taste it and touch it before you will accept its reality then that's what holds you up and because it's hard for you to accept that this vortex is real even though we've written two very good books about it it's hard for you to accept that this vortex is real because it doesn't feel as real to you as what you can already experience with your physical senses what we want you to know is that what's in your vortex will come out and play with you so that you can experience it in your physical senses we want you to realize that there is a steady evolution of that and we want you to catch the spirit with us of how delightful it is when you begin to allow yourself to experience with full awareness the turning of thoughts to things so often you think I want such and such to happen I want my lover to come or I want this money to be there I want my empire or my life's work I want something tangible I want it to be real I want it to be a real reality and then you think and when it is real then I will feel good and we say but you've got that backwards you have to feel good about it and then it becomes real you don't wait for it to be real and then you feel good about it so what happens as you watch what you call success or expansion of others in your world and you see their tangible creations and you wish them for yourself and that's a wonderful thing we like how that happens for you as you wish them for yourself but then you take score of where yourself is standing in relationship to those things and you see that it hasn't manifested for you yet so instead of looking in the direction of what you want you're actually looking at the absence of what you want and the absence of what you want is a very different vibrational frequency than the presence of what you want but you want to use your logic your logic that is based in what you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch and you say but I cannot yet see it and therefore I have to acknowledge that it isn't there and we say that reasoning will cripple you in terms of deliberate creation we want you to use other senses we want you to begin to sense the reality of what you've asked for but it requires a keener approach it requires a keener look because these vibrations are more subtle in their revelation to you they are being revealed to you constantly but you have to find some way to perceive them which means you have to look closely